TheAmericanMirror.com Headline Unsafe to the community Facebook takes on pro-Trump diamond and silk The hilarious duo of diamond and silk is a danger to society That's according to Facebook They're The pro-Trump pair posted on the embattled social media platform on Friday night Saying after months of correspondence they were deemed to be Quote, unsafe to the community Unquote Now I got this story from Drudge Report, and we know that Matt Drudge is a big Trump supporter. And it's really funny to see stuff like this coming out now, because I I like to brag uh, about uh, being censored on social media before it was cool. You know, when the social media websites, like especially YouTube, and I've told the story a number of times, so I'm not going to repeat it now, but you know, the financial consequences of demonetization happened to to me and my channel back in 2013. Um, nobody cared. It wasn't news. No, because the news is controlled by liberals and conservatives, and none of them are looking out for libertarians because liberals and conservatives are on the same team of statism. They're fighting over different flavors of government violence, all opposed to freedom and ethics and basic moral principles. So to me, it's kind of funny to hear to, to hear stories like this coming out now. Oh, Facebook censored Diamond and Silk. Uh, um, yeah, Diamond and Silk. And by the way, Diamond and Silk, two black females. And, and the reason, like, this is just... The identity politics of this is so ridiculous. Oh, the, the black women are being persecuted. So, you know, and, and because black women, we have to prove that black women love Donald Trump. We're going to put black women out front. Now, I'm all for minority and female empowerment. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, uh, don't, please don't misunderstand me. But I'm also against shameless identity politics and here it's well donald trump is hated by women well not diamond and silk oh well donald trump is hated by black people well not diamond and silk so they represent a very powerful message for team trump and this is a you know a really really interesting story because they finally have this this irrefutable clear-cut case. And I'm, I'm just kind of surprised that, that Facebook let it get out this way. I mean, come on, Zuckerberg. Don't, you're better at censoring people secretly. Why do you have to do it in the open? You're going to get caught. <laughs> so, uh, according to the message on their page, Diamond and Silk have been corresponding since September 2017 with Facebook, owned by Mark Zuckerberg, and their biased censorship and discrimination against the Diamond and Silk brand page. Finally, after several emails, chats, phone calls, appeals, beating around the bush, lies, and giving us the runaround, Facebook gave us another bogus reason why millions of people who have liked and or followed our page no longer receive notifications and why our page post and video reach was reduced by a very large percentage, echoing the complaints of many conservatives and pro-Trump pages. <sighs> now, you want to talk about reach being cut. I have still 230,000 subscribers on YouTube, and when I post a video there, sometimes it only gets 400 views. Yeah, that's how much they've cut me down now. In fact, I've heard from multiple people that who sign up for alerts that they don't get them when I post a new video. And it's worse on Facebook. I've heard from insiders of Facebook who have uh, reached out to me anonymously to say that there are multiple flags on my posts every single time I post them. By the way, I'm getting away from Facebook. I mean, you want to be the change you want to see in the world? I don't want to live in a world where social media is dominated by a platform that so dangerously manipulates the conversation in favor of Zuckerberg's political agenda. We all know he's setting himself up to run for president in 2020. Do we really want the tyranny of Facebook packed up by the guns of government? I would certainly hope not. And I, I think a lot of what we're seeing now with Facebook, I mean, none of this is, is really nothing particularly new. I have a feeling there's some behind the scenes manipulation here, getting all these stories out there by people who don't want to see Zuckerberg as a viable presidential candidate. 
The pair say it took six months, 29 days, five hours, 40 minutes, and 43 seconds to get a response, which they add the network said is final and not appealable in any way. Now, really, Diamond and Silk, you guys, you got a lucky. You got a, you got a direct response from Facebook? I mean, good luck with that. I mean, YouTube's even worse. Oh, now, you think I'm, I'm making this up about Drudge Report? It's right here in the story. Diamond and Silk shot to fame after the Drudge Report linked to several of their videos and they made appearances with then candidate Trump on the campaign trail. Oh, I mean, I, I. Now they go into the thing about Megyn Kelly and how they got famous with that. And I, you know, I'm unsafe to the community. Unsafe to the community. Come on, Zuckerberg. You can come up with better excuses for censorship than this. And you might think that this is a problem only in the United States. No, it's actually worse around the world. I mean, we know about China, the great firewall of China. We know about uh, places where social media is simply outlawed entirely. From straightstimes.com, Bahrain vows to hunt social media dissidents. Emphasis not in the original. From AFP Dubai, Bahraini authorities on Sunday, and this is a bit of an old story, March 25th announced they would be taking, quote, severe measures to track down dissidents who use social media as the Gulf monarchy tightens its grip on political opposition. Social networking sites, notably Twitter, are a major platform for rights activists in the tiny kingdom, which, according to Amnesty International, stripped hundreds of dissidents of citizenship in cases that have failed to meet the standards of a fair trial. Interior Minister Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa said the government was adopting severe measures to deal with unprecedented chaos by disruptive social media accounts. The minister did not identify any account but said some had been flagged by the authorities for spreading malicious rumors that strike at the heart of the social fabric and civil peace. Mm -mm -mm. We are not far from tracking down those behind this and taking legal action against them. Khalifa said, adding that if necessary, new legislation could be passed. Authorities in Sunni-ruled Bahrain, a tiny Shiite majority kingdom strategically located between rival Saudi Arabia and Iran, have jailed dozens of activists and disbanded both religious and secular opposition groups since pro-democracy protests broke out in 2011. The government has accused Iranian authorities of backing the protest movement in a bid to overthrow it. Tehran denies involvement. Bahraini activist Nabil Rajab, a leading figure in the protests, has been behind bars since 2015 for tweets critical of the Saudi-led intervention in Yemen. Over the weekend, Bahraini opposition activists who live in exile also took to Twitter to raise awareness over hunger strikes by female relatives, accusing authorities of stripping one woman naked after a family visit. A key U.S. ally and home to the U.S. Navy's Fifth Fleet! Oh, geez, the military industrial complex is involved in this one, too. You don't say. The kingdom is also home to a British military base that is under construction. Ooh, can't have any of those pesky protesters interfering with the development of a new military base. U.S. President Donald Trump has eased restrictions on arms sales to Bahrain since taking office in January last year. Oh, my gosh. You don't say. Trump serving the deep state and the swamp again increasing international arms sales this is all a competition for who gets to be the biggest power broker and profiteer of government violence and if you don't want the united states to turn into bahrain whatever you do do not support Zuckerberg for president in 2020 and get off Facebook as soon as you can. Oh, and of course, I should say, but I would think it goes without saying, whatever you do, do not reelect Donald Trump. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. 
Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your post and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.